Welcome back, everyone. I will wait a minute for everyone to get here. Um, I was actually happy the last few weeks. I, I had my uh, royalty-free music, and I recently moved to a new laptop, and so now you've got to listen to me ramble on while we wait to get started, wait for a few people to join in. Um, I apologize for the lighting. I don't know. I've changed nothing. But I don't know why that lighting is so harsh. I think it's, again, this is a new laptop. So maybe it's just a, a difference in the webcam. So I do apologize for that, you know, shaft of light coming down. So let me take a look here, see if we're ready to go. And we are. We've got shaft two people here. So welcome back, everyone. Let's get right to work. Um, hello, George Soros. Welcome, George Soros. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm impressed. The, the man that, that broke the, the, the pound sterling. Uh, welcome, George. Uh, anyway, so tonight is the normal routine. We're here to talk about the weekly watch list. We're here to talk about the plan for the week. Um, I've got some stuff to go over with many of you. Um, a couple things. Uh, we have a webinar coming up um, January 2nd. So we're going to get into the nitty gritty of the Oracle Daily Alerts. Um, if you're not familiar with Oracle Daily Alerts and the Oracle tool, I love it. Um, I use it every single day. Oracle is amazing. Okay, so you're looking at Oracle right now, um, and you're probably like, whoa, there's a lot going on. Yes, there is, okay? Cool thing is, look at that buy signal on ITCI at $28.61. The high of day on ITCI was 43, 43.56. So if you wanna learn, how to interpret these ideas um, to potentially buy something like ITCI at 2861 on its way to 43 or Sava at 289, which went to 450 or 405. So a 289 buy signal on Sava on its way to 405. And this thing's holding its holding its gains into after hours. Um, definitely ITCI are on the watch. Uh, Sava's on the watch. Oh, by the way, Merry Christmas, my friends. Welcome and Merry Christmas. You know, um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm one of those guys that you know, especially when you have kids, it's hard not to get fired up about Christmas. But I've always been kind of a Christmas guy. It, it's one of those holidays, one of those fun holidays of the year. So anyway, Merry Christmas to all of you that are here tonight. I wish you all the best. Um, I was just reading an article that uh, you know, we, we've just had the best decade in human history. Um, I wish you all the best in, in the remainder of 2019. I hope you have a great Christmas with family, with friends, you know, with, with you know, your loved ones, and I hope you have an amazing 2020. I, I look at the stock market hitting all-time highs almost every day. I look at these opportunities in stocks like ITCI, um sava you know mbot was another runner a bunch from the what red a right aid i mean a real company and and i'll move on but anyway merry christmas and i wish you all the best in 2020 so let's um so links wise i do want you to jump on that webinar um again if you're not here live that webinar will be linked below but it's stocks forward slash free dash webinar you got a week to register it'll be you know a thursday the second so i mean really you got you basically got two weeks but jump on register get in there um what we're going over tonight is the weekly watch list um both of them are free both of them are free okay the the webinar on the second is free, the watch list is free, you know? So, you know, everything, 
Uh, you know, I, I, you know, get the free stuff, okay? <laughs> I, I joke about it every week, but I mean, that's one of the amazing things. Um, it's, I mean, there's just so much information out there. Um, that's what's so cool about the world we live in. That's that's one of the reasons I think the world is such an amazing place. Is just unlimited. I mean, I mean, the internet. It, it, it's it's just unlimited access to information. You can learn anything. And there's so much just awesome free stuff out there. So so get the watch list, jump on the webinar, and let's get to work. Um, let me look at chat. What's red to green pattern, George? Um, it's a pretty simple pattern. It's just a stock. So let's let's talk about like ITCI. So the red to green pattern is pretty simple. It's a stock that spiked big. The previous day so let, let's george soros let's assume you missed itci you got home from work you see itci up 200 percent, and you're like man i missed it i missed itci dang this day job the beauty of the red to green pattern is i mean this stock is in play tomorrow one thousand percent so let me get on the whiteboard. My nose is, I might have to sneeze, but I'm gonna try not to sneeze. So what do we have? But I might fail. <laughs> I'm trying. So anyway, <laughs> ITCI, big spike, pull back, and then closes kind of flat. So that's our red to green line, the previous day's close which is this closed at 30, let's call it 37. Let's just round it to 37. So what we're looking for tomorrow is a red open And then a reclaim of green for a potential day two runner. So this is tomorrow's open. So we're looking for that red move. So it, it opened below 37. And then we're hoping for a high volume reclaim of the previous day's close. So that's our that's where we look to enter when the stock goes green on the day because now it's confirming a day two move. And then we stop out on a failed red to green. The stock fails back, crashes back, goes back red on the day, you stop out. Otherwise, I think there's a high likelihood um, ITCI could continue going. Same and, and same patterns for Saba, same pattern for MBOT, okay? Um, but the, the main watch is ITCI. And I know a lot of you might say, you're like, Tim, I thought this was the penny stock watch list. But man, the great thing about stuff like ITCI, when you, I mean, this thing had from 13, this thing had $30 of range today from 13 to 43. Now, you're not gonna buy the bottom, you're not gonna sell the top, but the fact is there's a lot of, when we talk about the meat of the move, there's a lot of meat on that bone with $30 of range. So let's say you got a small account and you got 100 shares or 200 shares of this thing. You know, and you and you make five bucks a share or, ten, or seven bucks a share. I mean, think about if you had 100 shares of ITCI with a small account and you catch five dollars of the thirty dollar move 500 bucks in a small account that makes a big difference so 
Don't be shy of high price stocks that have this big of moves. So let's get to the watch list. RAD. Hey, what stock went red to green today? What stock consolidated around VWAP and then broke the high of day into the afternoon? So I think the best move on Rite Aid, right here, because it spiked immediately at the gate. And I mean, yeah, it was technically a red to green, but it spiked right out of the gate. You would have had to been crazy fast to grab that. But look at this. You guys know, I mean, if you're here, you know the VWAP hold high a day pattern. Look at this thing pinned to VWAP all day, breaks the high a day at 12.45 p.m., and, you know, it spikes 75 cents a share. And this is day three of the move. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, you could have still grabbed 50, 60 cents a share on day three post earnings. That's what's so amazing about the market we're in. So you could have grabbed that early right red to green, even though I don't think that was the best play. I think the best play was the afternoon break. And then, I mean, listen, you, you, let's say you bought it, you know, you bought it the high day at 1470. You didn't, you're never going to sell the top, but this thing faded forever. And maybe you sell at 1520, you know, after it, after it tops and fades. Boo hoo hoo, 70 cents a share on a day trade. So another red to green, this closed near the highs. It's another VWAP hold pattern tomorrow. AES, this was the main slow mover and continued to not do a whole lot. Um, did battle back to green, but this is a slow moving swing trade type. I mean, yeah, it was red, but it was red by, you know, 20 cents on a $19 stock. But look at that. It's still, whoo, AES is in play, all new highs. So it didn't work today, but I mean, think about it. Think about if you bought AES, let's say you got impulsive and you bought right at the open. I mean, it was the worst you were down was 30 cents on a $19 stock and it closed green by one cent. <laughs> I mean, one, one cent green. But, but what I like about AES is it battled back, closed green, that keeps it in play. Look at that volume, big buyer at the close. Whew, look at that volume candle right at the close. And that volume candle pushed it green. You see that? Look at that. That biggest candle of the day. And building volume into the close. Somebody, you know, I'm not here to talk about Bigfoot and aliens, but somebody wanted AES green. Look at that. Look at that volume. So, nice to see. Um, so, AES still in play, still waiting. MRNS. Had a decent morning spike and then pulled back. Spike, pulled back, consolidated around VWAP and broke. Um, hoped for more. Um, you know, again, I listen, I, I come here and I break down the plays as they are. I had I had way higher hopes for MRNS. I, I admit, when I put this on the weekend watch list, I thought this could really get going. I mean... It did spike from 220, 230 to 250, but eh, not the kind of moves we're looking for. But, and, and this is going to be a recurring theme on this week, this webinar, um, still finished up 8% on the day and still has a big gap to fill. Look at that. You know. Now, I'm not saying MRNS is going to four bucks, but... She looks like she wants to keep grinding higher. And the market's hitting all-time highs. Biotechs have been hot. So MRNS, another one that's definitely primed through the week. And, I mean, hey, worst-case scenario, you know, you're up 5 or 6%. Again, it's like, I mean, your retirement plan, your your 401k, if your 401k is up 8.3% in a year, you're excited. You're like, my 401k is crushing it. It's up 8.2% year to date. 
I mean, MRNS is up 8.2% and didn't even close at the highs in one day. LAIX died, but we knew there was a high likelihood LAIX could die. Um, the trade plan was simply a day two squeeze that never came. Um, and this is something we go over in Stocks to Trade Pro every day. Um, the, I drew this chart at 9 a.m. I do twice daily webinars in Stocks to Trade Pro. I drew this at 9 a.m. Our plan was an afternoon red to green. It never came, okay? You have to realize so much of consistent trading is staying out of trouble, okay? I don't know where you are in your trading journey, but one of the biggest things that you have to master, that you have to do, is just stay out of trouble. Stay out of the big losses. And LAIX, I have such a hard time saying that ticker because I want to I wanna say like LAX, like the airport. <laughs> but, uh, you know, if you never entered this thing, you didn't take a loss. You didn't stare at it all day. No, no mental baggage, no big losses. And it just faded all day. Oh, well, no harm, no foul. But, but I tell you what, had this gone red to green today, you would have seen big fireworks. But I think ITCI took a little bit of its thunder. So, and then the last one's APTO. Nice day today on APTO. You know, 10%. It hit six. You know, new breakout at 550. Now, I know a lot of you want to see 500% or 1,000% runners, but 10% move on a stock that was on your watch list yesterday for free, you know, 10% ain't bad. And it's set up to gap up tomorrow. So overall, pretty solid um, set of stocks, you know. Rite Aid, I love Rite Aid because it's an earnings winner, so. All right, so that's the rundown. Um, we talked about the red to green pattern. Um, Sava was in the Wall Street Journal. Oh, really? I read the Wall Street Journal every day. Um, I didn't see that article. Thank you for the videos and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, AV8. Mbot and ITCI, top two watches for tomorrow. Um, please give me a discount link for STT. So um friday there will be a end of year sale reagan they're actually building the web page right now so reagan um follow us on social media um we're stocks to trade everywhere you know follow us on instagram twitter whatever your favorite uh social media platform is or follow us on all of them okay <laughs> we're stocks to trade everywhere but there will be a sale posted Friday, Reagan. Um, keep an eye out for that. STT is the best. Thank you. Do you love the Wall Street Journal? I have read the Wall Street Journal practically every day since I was in college. Um, I still, uh, you know, I don't know if they still do that. But um, when I was in college in the 90s, you got a free subscription to the Wall Street Journal. So I've been reading the Wall Street Journal since 1993. So. Fuck, again, there's a new sale coming Friday for the end of the year. What do you use to build your weekly watch list? Tony, stocks to trade. <laughs> um, uh, I am a day and swing trader, mostly short term. So, red to green is an intraday move. Yes. So, all right, guys and gals. Um, remember, one thing I do want you to remember: tomorrow, New Year or New Year's Christmas 
Eve. Stock market does close at 1 p.m. tomorrow. So, you know, not exactly a kind of day to get super aggressive. Um, so the stock, you know, remember, stock market closes at 1 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. And then we're closed on Wednesday. So, you know, if you're a swing trader, maybe you just kind of wait to put on any new positions until Thursday. Um, but just, just an FYI, just know that. So, um, so in closing, jump on the free webinar, check out Stocks and Trade Pro. What's the, behind the biotech movers recently? We're in an amazing market. Um, it, it's an amazing market. So STT Pro is the best way to go. The people are awesome. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. So. And get on the watch list. Um, no, in Stocks to Trade Pro, do you just watch the scanners? No, 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 no. So in Stocks to Trade Pro, every day, twice a day, we have a small community where we're, you know, we're bouncing ideas off each other. We're hitting the whiteboard. We're making trade plans. We get really in depth in Stocks to Trade Pro. No, it's not just staring at a scanner it is it is way 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 more so all right everyone have a great night i think i caught it um paul ventrano the app is super 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 close and i know i know i've been saying that for a long time but the app is i mean i promise you i promise you the app is very very close um hey gutter ball nice to see you love it so we got some stt pro members in here so so gutter ball bob cruz this tells you uh you know again how, what an awesome community we have in stocks and trade pro i did a 9 a.m webinar i did a 3 30 p.m webinar i did a 7 p.m webinar and gutter ball aka bob cruz is still here for the 8 p.m. YouTube live. <laughs> so awesome. Um, the sale is just on the software, Michael, that's coming Friday. So, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. all right, guys and gals. I, I always say guys, but cut me some slack. I'm a, I'm a Midwesterner. Um, that's just what you say. But um, have a merry, merry Christmas. Um, I wish, I mean, I, I, I talk about this a lot on these things, but I really, really do wish you all the best. I appreciate you coming here every week. Great questions. Um, and, uh, I honest, I mean, I just, I look at, I mean, I know the world isn't perfect and I know the world is far from perfect, but I think that we, we, we truly live in an incredible time when we can reach out and we can talk about stocks through technology and you can get a little bit better every day and you can find friends and trading partners and um, it is, it's just pretty wild. So I wish you all the best over the Christmas holiday. I hope you all achieve your dreams in 2020 and keep in mind, keep an eye out for that sale posted on Friday and I guess we'll see you next time. So have a great night, everyone, and we'll see you next time.